Hello everyone. So in today's video of chapter modern periodic table, I will be talking about electronic configuration in four blocks that is S block, P block, D block and F block and the characteristics of different blocks. Now, we all know there are four blocks in modern periodic table and these blocks are formed in accordance with the subshell in which the last electron enters. And we all know the four blocks are S block, P block, D block and F block. Let's start with S block elements. The last electron in the S block element is filled in S subshell. There being only one orbital in S subshell, so the general electronic configuration of S block element would be Ns 1 to 2 electrons. If the element is belong belonging to group 1, the general electronic configuration would be Ns 1. If it is belonging to group 2, the general electronic configuration would be Ns 2. So, S block electronic configuration would be Ns122. The S block is present on the extreme left of the periodic table. Now P block elements or P block in modern periodic table. When the last electron in the P block element is filled in P subshell, then we are saying it is P block element. There being three degenerate P orbitals in P subshell and total six electrons can be accommodated. So the elements belonging to six groups namely are 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18 which used to constitute the P block. P block appears on the right hand side of the modern periodic table and the P block ends with the group 18, which is also called noble gas. We can also note down here in noble gas, that means in group 18, the first element is helium, where only two electrons are present, but it has complete duplet. And helium is placed in 18th group of the P block because its valence shell is completely filled similar to the complete valence shell of other elements belonging to the group 18. They all are having complete octet. So we can say here the general electronic configuration of P block element could be NS2, NP1 to 6. Now D block. D block in modern periodic table is formed as the result of filling the last electron in D orbital. A D subshell is present in the shells within N is lesser than or equal to 3 and according to N plus L rule, the energy of Ns orbital is less than that of N minus 1 D orbital. That is why the last electron is entering into N minus 1 D subshell only and their N shell will remain filled. There being 5 orbitals in D subshell, so total 10 electrons could be accommodated. There are 10 groups namely 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 in D block. And they used to appear at the center of modern periodic table. And we can say here the general electronic configuration of D block element is N is 0 to 2 electron, N minus 1, D 1 to 10 electrons. Some variations in configuration consequent to extra stability associated with half filled and full filled subshell are readily observed. And we have learned example like chromium and copper. Now F block. In the F block elements, the last electron is filled in F orbital. As you know, there are seven orbitals in F subshell. The general outer 
electronic configuration of f block f block element would be n s two n minus one d zero to one and n minus two f one to fourteen electrons. The variation is due to the extra stability of half filled and full filled subshell. We all know. And the f block constitutes two series of fourteen fourteen elements called as lanthanide series and actinoid series. These two series are placed at the bottom of the periodic table. Now, characteristics of S block elements. S block element contain two groups, that is, group one and group two. Group one is called alkali metals, and group two is called alkaline earth metals. All these elements are very reactive metals, and occurs in nature only in combined state. Their compounds, with the exception of lithium and beryllium, are ionic compounds. This is because they have only one or two valence electrons, and they used to readily remove their electron to form M plus one or M plus two ions. They have very low ionization enthalpy, which decreases down in a group, resulting in increased reactivity. Now. p block elements characteristics the p block contains elements of group 13 to 18 the p block elements together with s block element are called main group element or representative elements the last group of p block is called noble gas which is 18th group and these have these elements have in case of helium complete du duplicate and in case of other elements complete octet these elements have very low reactivity and the elements of group 17 is called halogen family group 16 is called chalcosins and these are quite reactive non metals the electron gain enthalpy being highly negative they gain they used to gain two electrons readily to form anions Chalcogens used to gain two electrons, and halogens used to gain one electron. They have complete octet after uh, taking up the electron accordingly, and the p block contains all three types of elements: that is, metals, non-metals, and metalloids. The metals on the left, the non-metals is on right hand side, and the metalloids along with the zigzag line, which used to separate the metals and non-metals. the non metallic character increases as we move from left to right whereas whereas it is decreases as we are going down in a group now characteristics of d block elements d block elements are there from group number 3 to group number 12 all are metals these the d block elements are also known as transition elements or transition metals they form a bridge between the chemically reactive s block element and um, the less reactive elements of group 13 and 14 most of the d block element possess partially filled inner d orbitals as a result the d block elements have the properties like uh, variable oxidation state paramagnetism and the formation of colored ions they are used as catalyst like zinc cadmium mercury uh, and these are the element which do not show the properties of typical transition metal now characteristic of f block elements f block contain all the elements which are metal and placed in the two rows called lanthanide series from cerium to lutetium and actinoid from thorium to lawrencium these series are named after their preceding element lanthanum for lanthanide and actinium for actinoid series in the third group of d block that is 6th and 7th period respectively the lanthanides are also called as rare earth metals the last electron of the element of this series is filled in n minus 2 f subshell 
therefore these are called inner transition elements these elements have very similar properties with each series the actinoid elements beyond 92 uranium are called trans uranium elements all the trans uranium elements are artificial or man made and radioactive 